action. Welcome to Inside the Booth, pre-recorded live tonight. I'm Dan Arena. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm David Arena. Why, why am I doing this? Because I just did it, silly mugger. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How about I do an intro like this? Um, David Arena. Uh, that's almost like uh, Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Face. Oh. <laughs> Here on the late night episode of Inside the Booth, live, pre recorded live. Do you hear our fans cheering for us like late night shows? Like Jimmy. Ah, who, who, who else is on a late night show? Jimmy Kimmel. Late night show. Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. And. Steve Colbert. Steve Colbert. And that British guy. Yeah. What about whatever happened to David Letterman and Kobe yeah. Bryant? No, Kobe Bryant. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. Um, not, not, that it's, not that it's a laughing matter, but... Uh, what about... What, you name? mean Conan O'Brien? Yeah, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Conan O'Brien. He still exists. Does he? But, you know, what I hear about their late night shows now, because they look like this. They're really boring and dull. I wonder oh. how many viewers they get. <laughs> Probably none. Uh, but doesn't all of them look like this now? Uh, yep. got, uh, uh, what is it? Jimmy Fallon looks like this one. Everybody yeah. looks like this now. Everybody. Why? Because we're social distancing, di distancing ourselves. Well, we've, been, we've been doing this longer than they have. That's right. At least two years. Going on three. <laughs> doing it like this back and forth. That's true. Sad thing oh, is, we're just now finding out that Zoom can do recordings like this. Yeah, we should have thought about that before, huh? All right, so what movie you want to review? Uh, let's do... Let's do that one that we kept talking about uh, the other day. About how this world is starting to look like Demolition Man. Oh, yes. Let's do that. That'd be fun. Another Sylvester Stallone movie. Sylvester Stallone and Demolition Man. And Wesley Snipes. Sandra Wesley. Bullock. Uh -huh. and, a, yeah. and a cameo appearance of Jack Black when he first started filming. I have yet to realize who that would be. Jack Black? You don't know who he is? Well, I know who that is, but I don't know who he is in the movie. He's a, he's a little guard guy next to the rebel guy who lives down in the sewers, and he says, I'd like to run around naked with jello all over my body. And oh, what's, what's the actor's name? I don't remember. The one that does the Ford commercials? Yes. <laughs> Isn't he the one that said it, though? Well, no, he's also the voice for uh, the saber-toothed tiger in Ice Age. Uh, yes. Yes. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name. He's a comedian, too, isn't he? Yes, he is a comedian. Hold on. Best way to find this out, bro. I'll use my phone. Google it up. Use your phone and Google it, bro. Do it. Ready? Yeah, dude. I'm. I'm. I'm psyched. I'm ready. Demolition. Man, I must have already searched this before. <laughs> <laughs> Demolition man. Action sci-fi movie thriller 
Rated R, 1993. Sweet. Uh, cast. Here, here's the all-star cast. Wesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone, Sandra Bullock, Benjamin Bratt. Oh, that's the guy's name. Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. Yes. And they got Nigel Hawthorne and Bob Gunton. Jack Black. He's the Wasteland Scrap number two. Wasteland Scrapper number two, huh? Yep. So how did he go from... Hey, Jesse Ventura was in this movie. Who is he in this movie? Cryocon. That's it. Cryocon. Interesting. Interesting. So there you go. Demolition Man. All right. Fast and Furious, five pointers. No, no, not Fast and Furious because this is pre-recorded live, and I have no idea what I'm about to say. <laughs> the heck does the Fast and Furious have to do with anything we're talking about right now? Okay, so let's talk about Demolition Man. How it predicted the future of where we're at with COVID nineteen. <laughs> toilet paper yeah. left on the shelves. Yep, no toilet paper, and they use what they use for toilet paper? Three seashells. And, Three seashells. Uh, they. Uh, I know it was only like three, four weeks of no toilet paper to be found anywhere, yeah. but during that time, lots of memes went out about three seashells. At least one that we know of. That I made. <laughs> uh, what else? In uh, Demolition Man, social distancing happened even on the level of sex. Uh, yep. you could, and high fives. You had to have a license to have babies. Otherwise, yeah. illegal. Also, yeah. abortion is illegal in that movie. And salt is illegal because it's not healthy for you. Steaks are illegal because they're not healthy for you. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what another else? thing about Demolition Man is that only one restaurant survived the tragedy of the war. Of the COVID-19. Was Taco um, Bell. Shutdowns. <laughs> it was so Taco Bell. Everybody became Taco Bell in the future. That's right. There was no restaurant left named other than Taco Bell. So you were at a five-star restaurant. It's called Taco Bell. That's right. It's like <laughs> Taco Bell. Um, yeah, so you know, with all the shutdowns of restaurants now, who will be left standing? How fun. Because we all like Taco Bell, you know? Who doesn't like a burrito? Not from Taco Bell. <laughs> what about a chalupa? <laughs> you know, there, there was uh, one time in life where Taco Bell was pretty good. Their chalupas were good. Their crunch wraps were good. You know, then I don't know what happened, but they just... Went downhill from there. Downhill. And I think that was like in 2003, I thought it was still good food over there. Yeah. I like real Mexican food from a real Mexican restaurant. Yes, of course. That is better, of course. <laughs> and I like Puerto Rican food. And I like uh, uh, yeah, I like a lot of food. Why do you think I'm so big? Uh, 
So what, what do we have to say about Demolition Man? Demolition Man is a great action flick if you just want to sit there and numb your brain away. Uh, it's like The Expendables, but in the future. Yep. And I guess the acting was okay. I guess uh, the music, the score of the movie, in case anybody wants to be a little bit more technical. The music in the movie, the score. By the way, I do forgot. People, well, do people even understand what score means? Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, apparently, our buddy Fred did not know what it meant at the time. Uh, he knows now, but. <laughs> I would give the score no points. <clears throat> it wasn't that thrilling? Don't catch a COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> As I sneeze. <laughs> um, what else? Allegory? I don't know about an allegory. Storyline? No. The plot was pretty bad. It was. Ooh, I'm a rough cop and I beat up on people. Like Wesley Snipes. He's the worst criminal. I'm the worst cop. We're going to duke it out in the future, son. Because we're going to go freezing. We're going to go freezing. Carbonite? Is that what it was called? <laughs> <laughs> Copying Star Wars just a little bit there. <laughs> Cryo chambers. Cryo chambers, that's right. We freeze the criminals. And what what did um I forgot? Austin Powers um called it something else. What he what they call that one? It was making fun of uh, the cryo chambers. I forgot. No, or, you know, where they no. <laughs> freeze. Uh, but that's it, man. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, did I say can, anything? Can about you put it? an allegory to this movie? I mean, you can't. You could put an allegory to almost any movie in the world. But. Yeah, but off the cuff, can you come up with something? Off the cuff, um, redemption. That's all I could think about. I guess so. Second chance. Yeah, second chance. Chance at life. I can do the right thing or the wrong thing. That's right. You get second chances. God's the God of second chances. You remember that song? Yeah. Veggie Tales. Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a Veggie Tale review at some point. We should. I think that one would go well. I think. I I think all the children in the world will love it. Even though uh, I love it. Even uh, though we can't show our videos to children anyways. Otherwise, if we did, nobody can make any get, comments. Yeah, we'd get some kind of a question on like strike or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, we don't want strikes. YouTube. Ooh, that's, this still looks good. That yawn huh? is gonna look good on video. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, My beard's going to be cool on video, too. Yep, everybody, I stroked the beard. You know, you know what's funny? It feels, the beard feels cool in the wind. When you're standing outside and the wind is pushing on it. I don't know, it just feels weird, but it feels cool at the same time. I don't know why. <laughs> So if you ever want to grow a beard, that'd be a good reason to grow one. So we're going to end inside the booth here. Thanks for watching inside the booth. Subscribe. Tell your children. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your tell your friends about me. Tell your coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> Share, like, subscribe. Hit that bell button. Do it all. Do it all. 
trying to open my eyes. I feel like my eyes are closed. <laughs> there you go. You just gotta look. You gotta look up at the at your camera. Then your eyes look open. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had that problem in, in life. Even in high school, everybody always thought I was doped up. Um, yeah, high. people thought I was high too. <laughs> Dude, Dan, you high? <laughs> high today? <laughs> Dude, uh, no. <laughs> you high? No, I'm not high. Your eyes look like you're high. Yep, yep, me too. My eyes right. are bloodshot though, are they? No? Okay, I'm not high. So funny, people are. Are you sure you're not high? No, I'm going. Right, I'm going to stop the recording.